Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about the previous year question paper under Introduction to Electronics and Communication. So, we will be seeing about all the five modules questions and its key answers and how the marks are split up. So, module 1, describe the DC power supply with the help of a block diagram. So, you will be describing the DC power supply block diagram. You will be drawing the diagram and explaining it in detail. So, it carries 7 marks. Explain full wave rectifier with necessary circuit diagrams and waveforms. So, you will, you will first give a definition of what is full wave rectifier, then the circuit diagram for the full wave rectifier and the required waveforms for the full wave rectifier will be completely drawn so that it carries 8 marks. Describe the terms gain, input resistance, bandwidth of amplifier. So, when you describe each of the terms with its particular equation, then it will be 5 marks. So, the R choice is describe half wave rectifier with circuit diagram and waveform. So, same how you did for full wave. The same way you will describe what is half wave rectifier. You will draw the circuit diagram for the half wave rectifier and the particular waveform for the half wave rectifier. So, totally it is 8 marks. B question is classify different types of amplifiers. So, first to start with, to make your answer efficient, you can define what is amplifier and list down the types of amplifier available and then keep explaining the types of amplifier. And this is an amplifier produces an output voltage of 2 volt for an input of 50 millivolt. If the input and output currents are, these are the input and output currents respectively, determine the voltage gain, current gain and power gain. So, they have given the input and output current and they, they have already told the amplifier is going to produce an output voltage of 2 volt when an input is 15 millivolt, when an input fed is 15 millivolt. So, you have to determine the voltage gain, current gain and power gain, right? So, for the first question, you will be drawing the block diagram. So, each of the block diagram, what is step down transformer, rectifier, what is the voltage regulator, what is smoothening filter. So, you will be explaining all these in detail. So, the block diagram carries 3 marks and explanation carries 4 marks. So, totally it is 7 marks. And for full wave rectifier, here you will be drawing the circuit of the full wave rectifier and the wave waveform. So, the waveform will have 2 marks. And the operation circuit diagram will have the 2 marks and the operation of the circuit diagram will have 4 marks. So, totally it is of 8 marks. And C question, you will be determining the these terms, voltage gain, input resistance, bandwidth. So, uh, here they have given you what is voltage gain, A, AV is equal to V out by V in. So, this formula input resistance is input voltage by current and bandwidth is the upper cutoff frequency minus your lower cutoff frequency that is F2 minus F1. This is the bandwidth. You can show how the bandwidth is formed. So, all those if you write totally 1, 1 and 3 to 5 marks it will carry. And second half that is our choice. You have half wave rectifier. So, this is the circuit for the half wave rectifier. Once you draw this you will get 2 marks and the waveform for half wave rectifier that carries 2 marks and the explanation of the complete circuit, how the waveform, that is how this circuit is operated such that this wave is formed. That explanation when you give, it is for 4 marks, so, to, so totally it is of 8 marks. Then next is you will be determining the types of amplifiers, AC coupled, DC coupled amplifier, audio frequency, wide bandwidth, radio frequency, low noise. So, the types of amplifiers available, you will be listing down and each of the amplifier, when you explain it in one or two lines, that is more than enough. So, totally it is of 4 marks. Then finally, coming to the problem. So, already they, they have given the input and output current and also what is the input that is fed out of which, what is the output of the amplifier. Everything is determined. So, uh, with the uh, mentioned terms, you will be deriving the equation and based on that, you put in the details into it and derive the output. So, each of each of the parameters carry 1-1 one, one marks and the totally it carries 4 marks. And in module 2, 
what are the characteristics of ideal operational amplifier so you will write what is ideal operational amplifier and you will determine its characteristics so totally it is six marks explain the differentiator circuit with waveform and circuit diagram so totally a waveform you will you will first draw the circuit diagram then explain the operation and then the waveform so totally it is seven marks Describe Bainbridge oscillator with circuit diagram and formulas for the frequency of oscillation. So totally it carries seven marks and the our choice will be there are different terms to explain with reference to the operational amplifier, open loop voltage gain, input resistance, input offset voltage, slow rate. So when you explain all these parameters, totally it carries eight marks. So each of the parameter carries two marks. Describe three basic configuration of operational amplifier. You will you will be determining what are all the configurations available and explaining it. So this is a problem for finding the frequency of oscillation when you use three stage ladder network. So they have given the capacitor value and the resistor value. With this you will be finding what is the frequency of oscillation. So for ideal operational amplifier you will be writing infinite loop voltage gain, infinite input resistance. So these are the uh, parameters that you will be listing down. And when you explain it in detail, so each of this carries one, one mark. So totally it is six marks. And for B question differentiator, so you will be drawing the circuit diagram and then you will be giving the input voltage. That is how the input voltage then after performing the differentiator how the output is so the complete circuit explanation will be given to how the waveform is generated so for circuit diagram it is two marks and when you explain the complete uh, waveform how it is formed then it is for three marks so for circuit explanation it is two marks so totally it is seven marks and finally for c question you can write it so this this is the uh, bridge that you are drawing and you will be uh, for this circuit diagram, you, it carries two marks and for this frequency formula F is equal to 1 by 2 pi into root of C1, C2, R1, R2. So if you write this and explain what is R1, R2, C1, C2, how it is for this particular bridge, then it is two marks. And finally, the explanation of the complete circuit diagram with the formula carries three marks. So totally it is of seven marks, right? So for the OR choice, you will be writing. So here you will be uh, writing what are the what is A V V out by V in. So how V out by V in means well it is 20 log of 10 V out by V in dB. So how it is carried. So that is two marks. And R n is equal to voltage input voltage divided by input current. So that carries two marks. Then if it is input offset voltage, you have to write what is input offset voltage. Uh, in amount of input uh, voltage applied to reduce the output voltage. So, so what is that? In detail, when you explain it, is two marks. Then slow rate. Instead of this is the important point. Delta V out by delta T. That is difference. So now, uh, rather than writing this first, you just explain what is slow rate and then put it uh, into a formula. So this you can put it as a slow rate and then determine what is slow rate. So totally it is carries two marks. So it is catchy for the uh, people who correct your books. Okay. So it totally it is of eight marks. And finally inverting amplifier. This is the circuit for in inverting amplifier. When you draw the inverting amplifier circuit with explanation, then it has two marks. And non-inverting amplifier with diagram and explanation carries three marks. And then finally, differential amplifier with circuit diagram, explanation, and the complete frequency, how the frequency is calculated, so carries three marks. And totally, it is eight marks. And here you will be determining what is the frequency that is required because they have given the R value and C value for the problem. So what is the R value? What is the C value? Everything you will be placing it into the particular place 1 by 2 pi of 6 RC. So that what is the Hertz total number of Hertz that is frequency you have obtained even you write it. So totally it carries four marks. So this is just I have explained about the module one and module two split up how to write the present your paper for the person who are correcting it. 
so the next series of video will be having will be carrying the module of module 3 4 and 5 please be stay tuned for more information thank you